Good morning, welcome to day 12 of the road trip. I am very obviously in the back of the course there because I really couldn't be bothered this morning. So I thought I'd have a lazy morning. I'd just hang out in the car. I had the privacy tent up. I had the top over the top. And I was just lounged in the back, happy as Larry, but then the weather turned and it's raining it's pretty gross and the wind wreaked havoc with the tarp and the tent so those came down and i just had to admit defeat and get ready so what i'm going to do is i'm going to challenge myself to turn the courser from sleep mode to driving mode without getting out of the car because it is pretty horrible out there now, it usually takes me a good 15 to 20 minutes to do this outside of the car. So, Lord knows how long it's going to take me to do it from inside or even if it's possible. But we're going to give it a go. And the only rule is not to open the doors until it's time to get out and get in the driver's seat. Now, there might be a slight exception to that in that the passenger and the driver door window coverings are fastened on in the door jam so i have to open the door to take them off but other than that no opening the doors to help me out I have to do this 100 percent inside the car okay it is 9 56 a.m i am going to start a timer let's see how long it takes <laughs> Okay, this is where the no doors rule becomes tricky. This thing is massive. Okay, that is the bit that I thought was going to be most challenging, so... That's the victory. point now where it's so full but it doesn't actually shut so i just put it on the top it's more of a decorative feature the back is all packed up i am still in it so now comes the fun bit i've got to get out <sighs> nope Ugh. my god what a faff I'm out. Woo! And there's the car all packed up. I mean, it's not as tidy and organised as it is when I do it outside of the car, but it is done. I'll just quickly show you where I stayed for the night before I set off. So this is a big A road. It's quite noisy. Train tracks behind those bushes. But it's a lay-by with lots of these little inserts. There's the Corsa. And they're all the way up. And a lot of people camped out last night. Like, there's a caravan down there, a camper. There was a car in front of this horse truck, so I think someone sleeps in that. It was quite busy last night, actually. But this is my little spot. Just imagine the tent up there. And this is where I stayed. Now it's time to go and uh, start day 12. My name's Emily. I'm a history teacher from Lancashire and I love to travel. This summer, I decided to pack up my car and head out on a road trip around England, camping in my Corsa as I went along. Join me on my English adventure. This is Emily on Mooch, the road trip. It took 30 minutes. 
it's just started really raining again so i timed that perfectly the last thing i need to do before i set off is to plug all of the adapters and portable chargers in so they could use it while i'm driving i also forgot to show you that there is a canal here uh, i was gonna walk over to another look but i'm not feeling it in this weather so we're gonna go to today's location which is a museum i've got booked in for 12 30 and it's 10 30 now I've got two hours to get to somewhere that's about 10 minutes away i might go and see if they'll let me in a bit early and see let's go for a mooch welcome to a very wet and windy bletchley park don't know this is where the code breakers were working during the second world war and without their efforts and what they did it's estimated that the war would have lasted an extra two years so they saved a lot of lives like countless amount of lives with what they did and they were incredible incredible people if you've ever seen the imitation game with Benedict Cumberbatch this is where that happened it was really interesting I'm not a big fan of military and science technology history I prefer social history so the bits where it looks at their everyday lives I found that interesting but not really my cup of tea but if you're into sort of the strategic side of the second world war and you're into uh, military history and things like that and the history of computing and science this is a brilliant place to go because as a museum it was really good it was really interesting very interactive I enjoyed my visit um, I'm glad I've done it. I could tick that off my list. Would I come back? Probably not. But my ticket is valid for one year, so I could come back if I wanted to. Um, yeah, it was a nice day. I just wish the weather had been better. It, it was sort of lightly raining, so I got a bit wet as I was walking around. But as I was in the queue for the cafe, it started absolutely chucking it down. Um, I ended up giving up on the cafe. It took them that long to pay £5.50 for a bit of soup so I gave up, I've left I'm going to try and find a pub or somewhere that I can sit for the afternoon and uh, get coffee before I head up to Welling After my pit stop at that lovely little pub to get something proper to eat I set off to visit my first friend of the trip so this is where the vlogs are going to change a little bit so from now on i'm going to be staying with friends and going out with friends which means the vlogs are probably going to be a little bit different they have a different vibe to them because the priority for the next few days is really spending time with those friends so for tonight for example we're just staying in we're not going out we're not doing anything so i will say goodbye to you now tonight is all about just seeing my friends and just relaxing and sleeping in a bed 
hope you enjoyed the trip to Bletchley and uh, I will see you tomorrow for day, what are we on, 12, 13? Lost track. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the road trip series. If you enjoyed it, hit subscribe because there's another video coming very, very soon.